All right, what's up guys? Today we are in Argentina and I know it's been a minute, but today I'm going to talk about why it is that I'm deciding to move to Argentina. When I say move, I just mean like, I'm probably gonna spend the better part of 2024 here. I can't really see what I'm gonna be doing beyond that. But any of you that have been following my channel for a while know that I've been living for the better part of the last two years in Colombia. And I wanna to talk today in this video about why I find myself drawn to Argentina at this moment, why I think it's the best place for me. A lot of you guys have been following some of the videos that I've made in the past about being in Colombia, being an expat in Colombia. The whole premise of all those videos is essentially it's maybe a good idea, maybe not, to, as a Westerner, work online in some way, make money in dollars and live down in South America. And drastically increase your living. What you're getting for your dollar goes three, four, in some cases here in Argentina, five times more than what it would get you in the United States. And at the same time, in Latin America and South America, you just feel a little bit more of an adventure being somewhere new. At this point, I feel more comfortable being a foreigner somewhere than I do even when I go back home. I want to talk in this video about why Argentina has been that place that I really see myself liking and settling really roots in, I think deeper roots than even I did in Colombia. I can touch this from a lot of different angles, but I got to Argentina a few months ago and I had explored around, I've taken trips to different cities and different places, to Patagonia, to the bigger cities. And while I was traveling around, a lot of the places weren't really that cool or viable or anything like that, but there were a few spots that I really liked. I liked that I could just go from this beautiful mountain landscape to Patagonia to just the next day be on some nice, relatively decent beaches within a relatively short period of time. And I just felt like this country had a lot this might be a recurring theme throughout this video is that it felt in some way a little bit like one foot more towards being in the West and, and one foot out, whereas it's more of an in-between. Like Colombia is on one end of a spectrum and the United States is on the other end and Argentina can almost fall a little bit somewhere in between. And I'm going to illustrate some of those ways that it is. First and foremost, just the safety. I, I, I feel way safer here than I did in Colombia. And I feel safer here than I probably would in a lot of American cities right now, especially if you were to be somewhere in like a big city, especially with the inf huge influx of migrants and everything like that in the United States. Danger is uh, increasing in the United States. And for sure, it, it is definitely a, a big step back in a uh, feeling of danger than in comparison to Colombia. If you ask Argentinians, they'll all tell you, oh my God, it's so dangerous here, it's so dangerous here. And I might end up getting my phone stolen, that might happen, but so far I haven't really felt that. I feel like I can walk around at night and I can go most places and it just feel, overall feels, and this is one of the big, one of the biggest things just as an overall theme is like, it just feels like a higher, a much higher trust society than Colombia. Columbia does not feel like a very high trust society. It almost feels like everywhere you go, people are trying to, not everywhere you go, but there's a lot of circumstances, especially with people that you don't know very well, where they'll just try to cheat you or try to get something over on you for, for some like relatively very little, which I'm sure happens in Argentina as well, particularly Buenos Aires, particularly anywhere where you have tourists. But it just almost felt like there were some areas in Colombia where I could walk around and I, if I was wearing like, if I, maybe if I was wearing a watch or if I was wearing a nice necklace or something like that, or just nice clothes, potentially they would, the desperation, the level of poverty there was so much that maybe they would stab you just for the clothes on your back. And so it's nice to be in a place that doesn't have that same level of desperation. I feel overall more than anything else, I feel like for here in Argentina, you're getting the greatest bang for your buck all around. I think it is the best deal right now in all of Latin America, in my opinion, maybe even the world. I can't really think of anywhere else that I'd rather be. I think it really checks all the boxes for me in terms of it's incredibly low cost of living, especially even in comparison to Colombia has lower cost of living. It feels relatively really quite safe and especially for like the right areas to be in. I like the lifestyle here overall. The fact that it just feels, this is a cliche, but it feels more of like a European lifestyle. Whereas like in Colombia, like there are like, there's like El Centro, there's parts of town that are built in that way, that more European architecture style where everything is close together and you could walk, but you just can't live in those areas. So in, in Colombia and in the United States, everywhere you got to get to, you need to have a car, you need to have transportation of some kind. Whereas I like the lifestyle here where I can literally just go walk. I, my gym is a block away, my anything I need to get to eat or whatever is just literally just a couple minutes away walking, which I really like that a lot. So the lifestyle overall, I think is really good. The girls that I've dated here, the girls that I've met here are, in my opinion, very beautiful. And I think that they're 
on par with Columbia. Dating here is also great. The only thing that I will say is a little bit of a drawback, and I'll make videos about drawbacks and all that, is definitely the weather, the fact that like right now it's summer in Argentina and it almost feels like I'm back in, in Florida or in the United States. So what was nice about, for example, Colombia is that there wasn't any season. It was just always the same, especially in Medellin. It was just almost perfect year round. Whereas here there are seasons, but I am looking forward to that because I am looking forward to having a uh, winter. I, I like being in Colombia so long, I feel like I haven't had a winter and I haven't had a summer in forever. I haven't really had any like extreme seasons whatsoever. So I think that would be nice. And really other than that, I, I like it just overall going back to the largest point above all is that it just feels like a relatively higher trust society than some other places in Latin America. And I think that has a lot to do with the lack of diversity. Uh, Argentina in general has, has much higher levels of, I guess you could say, European blood. So people here, they look different. They look physically different. There are people here that look like me, for instance. Not exactly like me, you know, because that's hard to find. But there are people that look very German. They'll have German last names and all that stuff. And I think a lot of that, I think a lot of the reasons why, all the things that I just listed, the fact that it feels more safer, it feels like a more higher trust society, and also at the same time, and the architecture is also like a lot nicer here than, for instance, Colombia, especially in the United States, for instance, really good old architecture and places. And I do think that has an effect. I do think that is, at the very least, it's a nice thing to have. I think the reason why all those things are the way they are is because they have much more of a European heritage. And that just is a fundamental difference, I think, between some of between Argentina and some of the cultures that even just surround it. And in my opinion, it's a really good kind of change of pace. It's, I would, I'm not going to say it's like I'm living in Europe because it's not. But it's, if I had to be in Latin America and live the closest way to a European lifestyle as possible while I'm being super cheap, it almost reminds me of being in Eastern Europe. It's like I'm being in Poland. Like Poland is a very affordable country and it's incredibly safe. It's also incredibly safe because it's like a, a homogenous culture. Uh, but it's also very cheap. Argentina also went through like a socialist phase as well in a lot of ways. So it has that architecture. It's almost reminiscent of that as well. Recently, there was an election. So Argentina is going to be going through like a lot of changes. There's this guy, Millet, who won. Regardless of opinions on, on him, he's going to be making a lot of changes to the country. He already has made a lot of kind of changes to the country. I've seen protests here on several occasions of, of people just protesting and shutting things down. But other than that, it hasn't really been too hectic, but it really is depends. When I was here just a few months ago, it's 800 pesos to the dollar, and now it's 1,200 pesos to the dollar, which is crazy. It's 50% increase in just a couple of months. So we're really gonna see how things go. Maybe things get worse. Maybe I eat my words of everything I just said, and this place just becomes a despotic hellhole. I don't think so. I think regardless of the fact that this place is relatively poor than, like I said, even a country like Colombia, it is interesting that they are somewhat able to keep their society together a little bit more. Whereas in Colombia, I feel like I have to, if I just to get coffee in the morning, I feel like I have to step over homeless people or pregnant homeless people or kids in the street. And, it's, and that's in the best area of town in Medellin. So it's, it can be a bit heavy being in a place like that. But anyways, that's my just general overall rant for this video. I just want to make something really quick give a bit of an update and then I can dive in as time goes on and uh, more and more topics of discussion. And yeah, so anyways, if you have any questions on uh, Argentina or really anything in general, uh, you could just drop a comment down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions. And uh, yeah, so anyways, that's it for now. Much love. Peace. Bye.